Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Metacom Toys Real Action Heroes Dragon Ball Z Son Goku and as you can see this is actually a 1-6 scale 12 inch figure so I'm just going to look at this, you can take a look at the box so let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick, Dragon Ball Z uh, I love the scene over here and remember I'm not a DBZ enthusiast so please uh, take kindly <laughs> Please take kindly. Dragon Ball Z, yada yada yada. There's Son Goku in his nice little crane stance or whatever he's doing. And that's alright. As usual, of course, I'm not here to display the box. But here, let's open. I forgot to open that up. So let's show you the inside of the box right here. Dragon Ball Z and those different poses that old boy can do. Very articulated figure, but what can I say? That's to be expected. 12 inch figure after all. Alright. Oh, one thing is, of course, let's go ahead take a look at the detailing. As you can see, little Son Goku has little strands of hair over here, so very anime accurate. The eyes piercing, the glaze. I wish he had a little bit more detail. The uh, striation and the arms or something. It doesn't have that great of a detail, and this is one thing. Even though the uniform is correct with a nice little cotton whatever he's wearing and the orange gi. It looks more like a prisoner's uniform then, but hey, like, like I said, that's DBZ's deal, not mine. The back, of course, has the kanji. Again, I don't know what that means. And of course, it looks like his pants come off, but that's all right. I'm not going to do that. Very poseable figure. So let me go ahead and straighten them out. Show you a bit of articulation. One thing is also the figure does come. These are the nice little hands, the grip hands over here. But it comes with a different three pairs of different hands over here. Uh, you got the open splayed palms, the closed palms, and of course, uh, nice little finger strike mantis palms here. So you got three extra pairs of hands. It also comes with the display stand, but uh, he, he stands up all right. As far as articulation, his neck does crane a little bit. It's kind of like this is soft plastic over here as opposed to the molded plastic over here. So the cr it does have like a craning mechanism. Head is on a ball joint. And the shoulder does come with a, it has a shrugging shoulder, so I don't know if I can point that out over here, but his shoulders do shrug. In addition to the ball joint, I don't know if I can show you that. There we go, so he's got a ball joint and it shrugs. Ball jointed elbow, so it moves up and down, side to side. It's nice ratcheting action, as you can hear. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow, so yeah, he can definitely do that. Wrist is on a ball joint and in addition it has a little swivel and of course let's see he has cloth armbands or wristbands right here and of course his gi so pretty much it right there has torso crunch over here waist swivel hip is on a ball joint also has a thigh rotation knee is double jointed and has a ball jointed and a swivel jointed ankle so pretty good articulation not bad looking figure of course it's really expensive uh, yes uh, it retails for get this 15,000 yen ouch and this was released back in 2008 so I'm imagining it's about 150 bucks back then for a size comparison yeah, I didn't know that, but he's about the same size as good old Oscar Langley. So he's about one six tail. He's supposed to be about 30 millimeters long. And of course, here's with She Spawn as a, compar a comparison. So another very expensive figure. If I were a lot cheaper, I'd definitely give him a better gray. But as it is, I'm going to have to knock him down a peg. So I'm going to give him a six and a half out of ten. All right, that's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch you all next time.